All right, uh, time to do a little forensics here. Find out uh, just how well that uh, last couple of plants did. So what I've got here is the container that's empty. Uh, I've let the dirt dry out some over the course of the last day or two. So let's break it up and let's see how much of this actually really produced root. So I'm just kind of break it up here. See, I'm getting the dirt away from the roots. As you can see, it did get some pretty good root development here. You can see where the clone has started. Right in this area here, where you can see not only after it was planted, lots of root, lots of strong, strong root development grown there. Uh, so here we've got a nice good cap root. That was probably the original roots when the plant was put into dirt. But as you can see, that's about all that was really used. Now, you can probably reuse this dirt. As you can see, there's a bit of organic material in here and stuff like that, some leftover roots and, and things. But uh, that looks like pretty good dirt. I am going to send this off to the University of Minnesota so that they can do a full analysis on it and find out uh, what, the, what nutrients might be missing. And I'll also send them a sample of the original dirt before planting so that they can do kind of a comparative thing, find out what I started off with and what I ended up with in the way of dirt. Uh, and whether or not I should save this dirt and use it again for another grow. So there you go. Take a look. If your plant is, this is a uh, what? four inch square pot, I think. Yeah. That's all the roots that were in there. That was all the dirt that it really needed. Didn't need to have more. Everybody seems to want to grow in lots and lots and lots of dirt. Waste lots and lots and lots of money. This folks, as you can see, is literally a handful of dirt. Okay. This plant was 28 inches tall when it was harvested. I'm still waiting for it to dry out to find out what the what the total weight on it is, but I'm expecting that somewhere around uh, half to three quarters of an ounce between those three plants that I harvested the other day, and each of them will have dirt that's going to be comparable to this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull another one out over here. This one's still got a little bit of leaf material in it, so we clean that up very good. Once again, let's break it up. And we'll see what we got here. So that's the roots from the first plant. Okay. Once again, let's see. Lots of really good root development off that off that stem. Even a few roots that developed below the ground that were buried after I when I put the plant or the cologne into the dirt. But as you can see, again, very similar to this one. Not much in the way of dirt used. Some finer roots and stuff like that in the in the soil mix after I've broken it up. If it, obvious. These are the bigger roots. But I'm going to send this off to the University of Minnesota. Have them do a soil analysis on it, along with a soil analysis of the dirt before it got used, and uh, see what the differences are. It'll be interesting. You don't need that much dirt, folks. If you're using more than, if you're growing big, tall, huge plants, you don't need a five-gallon pail of dirt.